हरे कृष्णा रेवल्यूशन इज द सनलाइट दैट शोज क्लियरली वॉट द मून लाइट ऑफ रीजन शोज डिमली सम इंटेलेक्चुअल्स थिंक दैट रीजन एंड रेवल्यूशन आर कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट्री दे फील दैट वी शुड सिंपली बी रैशनल एंड विथ आर रैशनैलिटी वॉट एवर वी अंडरस्टैंड वी शुड स्टे विद दैट एंड दे थिंक दैट रेवल्यूशन मीन्स दैट वी आर गिविंग अप आर रैशनैलिटी दैट वी आर बिलीविंग समथिंग विच फॉर विच देर इज नो एविडेंस हाउ एवर दिस विजन दैट रीजन एंड रेवल्यूशन आर एट लॉगर हेड्स इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली वी आर ऑल सीकरस ऑफ नॉलेज and reason is what we human beings use for perceiving things according to our capacity so reason is what we have been given by the divine it's our capacity and it's important for us to have reason and to use our reason so reason is like the torch light when it is dark at that time we need a torch light by which you can see clearly okay this is like this this is like this this is like this so it is our capacity to reason that is like a torch light and in the dark it is vital and what we see with the torch light dimly when the sun rises then we can see it even more clearly so the the territory that is to be seen is the same uh, the torch light sees it in one way and the uh, sunlight shows us in another broader way and we could say that each of us has our capacity to reason which is like our torch light and then we could say we human beings collectively have a capacity to reason and that could be like the sum total of various torch lights or we could call it like a moonlight why moonlight all the moonlight also shows things uh, moonlight also illumines moonlight doesn't illumine as clearly or as widely as the sunlight so many generations of people using their reasoning capacity can come to certain understandings and that can be greater than the understanding of uh, what we might get by our own reasoning capacity so we could say that the various uh, human beings reasoning capacity is like a collection of torch lights which becomes a very big light yes that's true but this this analysis presumes that reason is our own property like the torch light is our property and sunlight is beyond us but the reasoning faculty is also a gift that we have been given why should we have a reasoning capacity if we rash, use rationality to uh, to equate with materialism and we think re revelation means that god exists and god doesn't exist uh, therefore the Uh, therefore we do not believe in anything spiritual we are simply materialistic then uh, if we were simply creatures made of matter if we were simply uh, parcels of protoplasm then why would we have a reasoning capacity yes we need a capacity to eat sleep mate and defend but why a faculty by which we can perceive we can pursue life's big questions so this reasoning capacity is also a gift given by god to us our individual as well as the co uh, collective human reasoning capacity and just as we don't produce either the sunlight or the moonlight both are given to us by the universe by na nature so that we can illumine our path in life so so if we see that our reason is also a gift then that same divine who has given us the reasoning capacity has also given us a revelation so so we see reason and revelation as both pointing in the same direction and krishna talks about this in the points to this in the bhagavad gita when he says shraddha va labhate gyanam tat para sanyate indriya gyanam labdhva param shantim achire nadhi gachati krishna se shraddha faith is required for gyan knowledge people who use reason 
they say that why should we have faith in revelation but then they have faith in reason in rationality now why should rationality necessarily give us the right knowledge why should the universe function rationally unless the universe were reflecting some uh, the rationality of a higher being there is no reason why the universe should be rational so the idea that our rationality will give us the truth that reason will help us to discern what is reality that also is based on the faith that reality works according to rational principles so faith is foundational for knowledge whether we get it through reason or through revelation and when we use reason properly and when we understand revelation properly then we will see that reason and revelation both work in harmony to illumine the journey of our life to illumine the path of our life by which we can get true knowledge and real happiness thank you hare krishna